The Singapore government is piloting the world's first ever artificial intelligence governance self-test. It's called AI Verify and it will allow companies to measure and demonstrate how reliable and safe their AI product or service is. Singapore Communications and Information Minister Josephine Teo launched the AI Verify framework at the World Economic Forum and touched on Singapore's priorities into the digital future. Brandon Tonoto with more from this report from Davos. To put it simply, this is an avenue for consumers to identify products and services that they can use with greater assurance. Now, this is how Communications and Information Minister Josephine Teo described how the AI Verify framework could help benefit consumers. This as the technology is more increasingly and pervasively adopted, not just in Singapore, but around the world. If you put yourself in the shoes of an organisation that deploys AI, even if they wanted to subscribe to this idea of trustworthy and reliable AI, even if they had the intention to be transparent with their stakeholders, how are they going to do that? And that's how the idea for AI Verify came about. We decided that it, that it would be helpful to organisations that make use of AI. If they had a toolkit that would help in self-assessment and they can do it voluntarily. Now AI products or services include things like image recognition to verify signatures or a bank using data analytics to guide customers' investment decisions. Now the toolkit aims to help companies ensure that they inform users of the intended use of their AI systems as well as the limitations or risks involved, if any. Mrs. Teo also pointed out that the developments in the digital space are moving so quickly that regulations need to keep up, and rule setting requires policymakers and technology leaders. You have to talk to the people who are at the forefront of implementing the technology. Otherwise, you're going to set up rules and regulations that may not be viable or they are not effective. I think how we have decided to deal with it in Singapore is to be accretive meaning the areas where we have a deeper understanding and also can see a way to reasonably regulate it, that is where you get started. On security and protection, Singapore's cybersecurity watchdog also noted that international cooperation is important in combating future cyber shocks, especially for a small and open economy like Singapore, whose lifeblood is trade. Increasingly, uh, trade flows, economic uh, um, activity are on the digital space. So it means that uh, it can have significant disruption if uh, you have uh, attacks on the digital um, space. We can't deal with these by ourselves because the attacks that come don't come from within Singapore. They come from in fact, anywhere in the world. Now, Mr. Ko explains that it is imperative that economies recognize that cybersecurity is a shared responsibility. And global forums like this one is where the conversation stays current and has a real impact.